Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, y'all? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform, okay? So, this is what we got. So, today is Monday, which means that today is the Whether You Like It or Not panel, all right? Be sure to tune in to that later on today at 8.15 Eastern Time on Yacrates' platform. Make sure you guys get into it. The link is already available. So go click on that link. Make sure you guys set your reminders for tonight's show. Then on Wednesday, be sure to tune in for the Chasing Panel. We will be back after a holiday break as Scotty, Jamar, Terrence, Tramiel, Carl, and Jeremy all come together to talk about Wednesday's episode of Chasing Atlanta. And then on Saturday, be sure to tune in for the live review of Love and Marriage Transville, you guys. All right. So that's pretty much all that we got coming up on the platform so let's go ahead and get into the mess now we just talked about this the other day and that was the whole situation with candace dillard and chris bassett but apparently you know apparently the girl came out the other day which i reported on and she said this i lied i never met chris bassett and i never talked to him and i made the whole thing up and i'm sorry that my actions may have hurt people okay and that's what was posted on all true t all right so that's what Ayanna Williams said. Ayanna Williams, if you don't know, Ayanna Williams is the girl that came out, did an interview with Tasha K, and told Tasha K that she was messing around with Chris Bassett and said all types of disparaging things. Candace said that it was a lie. Giselle and Robin said that they believed every solitary word of it when they was on Reasonably Boring, their, their little podcast. They definitely said that. So now Miss Ayanna Williams is coming forward and saying that she lied and that she never met him. She never talked to him. She made the whole thing up. And now she's apologizing apologetic like Anita Baker. I apologize. Oh, believe me, I do. That's what she's saying right now. However, something else has come across my desk, okay? Now, somebody sent me this, and I see that House of Aaron also reported on this same thing. Shout out to my buddy and good friend, House of Aaron. And this is what was put out there. Now, apparently, the same girl, Ayanna Williams, um, somebody was on um, Instagram, and I guess they asked her what she set up to do this so the person wrote ayanna williams and said hello i have a question to ask you candace has been accusing giselle of having something to do with your false allegations against chris did she put you up to this at all and then a the girl ayanna said she did put me up to it and that's all i can say for now sorry okay do y'all see that let me repeat this one more time the girl asks i have a question for you Candace has been accusing Giselle of having something to do with your false allegations against Chris. Did she put you up to this at all? And she responded with, she did put me up to it. And that's all that I can say for now. I'm sorry. All right. So that's what Miss Ayana said. Now, Ayana is saying that Giselle was the one who put her up to the allegations. Now, let's talk about it. Do I believe that Giselle would be trifling enough to go to this lady and 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 try to talk about disparaging things and put out rumors about you know um put out rumors about Chris and put out rumors about Candace and and stuff like that you feel what I'm saying so do I think that she's trifling enough to do that well, Giselle has done a lot of trifling things. She's brought a lot of rumors to this show about other people's husbands and stuff like that. So I wouldn't put it past her to do something like that. I'm just saying what my opinion is. I wouldn't put nothing past Giselle. I wouldn't put this past Giselle at all. However, on the flip side, though, Ayana already lied and said that she was fucking this man anyway. She already lied. So... Could she possibly be lying about Giselle putting her up to this? Let's play devil's advocate now. Yeah, Giselle is trifling. She's a trifling ass mother like she is. And there's nothing that we can say about that. She's definitely trifling as hell. She's very trifling. But at the same time, did she do this? Did she have anything to do with it? Could that be the reason why she was so adamant on Reasonably Shady? about believing it and knowing that it was true and having enough evidence, her and Robin? Do you think that Robin possibly knew that Giselle did it if she did it? 
Or do you just think that Giselle and Robin was just being evil motherfuckers like they always are and just basically believing anything negative that comes out about Candace because that's what they do. When some come out about somebody that they don't fuck with or they don't like, they're going to automatically believe it whether it's true or not. So I don't necessarily believe that Giselle did that. And the only reason why I'm saying that I don't believe it, because y'all know I cannot stand Giselle. Y'all know this already. Y'all know I'm never on her side about e motherfucking thing. Y'all already know that. But the only reason why I have my doubts about this whole story is this right here. This is the reason. I'm having trouble believing it because she already lied. She already proved herself to be a liar. So when you already prove yourself to be a liar one time, there's only going to be so many things that people are going to believe that comes out of your mouth. Because now you've made a point to say, well, you've made it a point to be a liar. Like, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to make up a lie. I'm going to go to Tasha K and I'm going to say that I was fucking this lady's husband for some clout. And I'm going to make the people believe and I'm going to have everybody talking about it on Twitter. I'm going to do everything under the sun to make this shit look true. But now I'm going to take it back and say that it, was, it wasn't a lie. Because at this point, to me, it's like, okay, so was it even a lie? It's hard to know because you didn't lie so much. So now it's really hard to know whether or not, you know, they were lying or not. So... I just I just have I just have a couple of questions and I and I'm really interested in knowing what you guys think down in the comments because it's crazy because I'm like mm, Ayana. Ayana came out and said she was fucking Chris. She even went as far as to did a Tasha K interview to say the same thing. Only for her to come back around and say it never happened. Had everybody believe in her. So now she's saying it never happened. And now she's saying that Giselle was the one who told her to say that and put her up to the rumors. It's just odd to me. Everything surrounding this story is very odd to me right now. So it has me wondering or believing that Giselle really didn't have nothing to do with this. Shit. And that's what I hate. I hate that I have to sit up here and look at Giselle in a favorable way. Honestly, y'all know I can't stand her. And I'm very much so true to my dislike for Giselle because she is a terrible person in my eyes. But I don't think she did that. Mainly because this lady here is already a liar. But I'm definitely wondering what you guys think about it. Like, do you guys think that Giselle did it? Do you guys think that Ayana is still telling lies? Or are you like me and just confused about everything? Because at this point, I'm very confused about every damn thing that's going on with this story. So y'all leave y'all comments down below and y'all going to talk about it. So before we get up out of here, y'all know we got to pay three bills now and not just two we paying three bills make sure you guys support my boy Tramel. he has a brand new single out called long days it's available everywhere so make sure you guys purchase and stream his his music Tramel is a talented artist y'all need to support our very own he's a part of the chasing panel he's part of the platform make sure you guys support him also make sure you guys support bando he has a brand new song out called bando's dream is now available on spotify apple music as well as youtube and also bando has another song out now called dui make sure you guys um, um get that it's also available now everywhere you can go stream it you can watch it on you can listen to it on youtube you can do all that good stuff so make sure you guys support bando all right, so with that being said, I'm Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my IG, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, I'm Scotty by Nature TV, and I'll talk to you guys at another time. Mm -hmm.